when you have public debt so high and your interest bill is so high and your inflation is running so low, uh, so high the space that you have to respond to any shock and we know that the caribbean region has repeated shocks needless to say i mean um, sebastian will talk more about it natural disasters is a feature of the caribbean every single year so if the government does not have the fiscal space to respond to these shocks it incurs higher debt and then the vicious cycle just keeps getting exacerbated so discipline does help to create some fiscal space that would be needed to respond to shocks which is especially important in many countries that have a fixed exchange rate regime so what does it mean to say discipline is practical and not ideological we are not talking about um, you know i hate the word but i will say it, neoliberal policies that people often associate for um, achieving these kinds of uh, fiscal discipline or achieving these types of turnarounds we are talking practical policy making we are talking about achieving macroeconomic stabilization that is not magic that is very it you know it it may require magic to achieve it but it is not um something out of the ordinary if you want to lower your inflation if you want to reduce your current account deficit if you want to increase your reserves so that you're able to absorb shocks if you're able if you want to reduce your fiscal deficit these are very fundamental needs in order to achieve macroeconomic stabilization that's one thing the second policy is um instituting the rule of law um there has to be some um discipline in the way the country is run and in the way in which it is predictable so that the rule of law is actually followed and businesses understand that there is a recourse should things go wrong the third thing for countries is to have a market market based um, allocation of resources um you know in in many of them this i would associate also with the modest role for government i would say these two are combined in a certain way particularly in the caribbean where government takes a very expansive role in an economy where the government um the arms of the government are pretty much everywhere again <clears throat> to quote this uh, example of jamaica and i'm not using jamaica i just know the country well and therefore i'm using it as an example um jamaica has um as of 2016 at the start of the current standby arrangement it has uh it had 180 public bodies 180 public bodies for a country with a population of 2.8 million i would have to say it is one of the highest on a per capita basis of how much public body is associated with each citizen and that needs to be streamlined the role for government has to be narrowed so that the market and the private sector is able to play a more active role in um in shaping the economy and lastly i would also say in terms of is practical and not ideological is also to know that there is no generic formula there is no magic silver bullet that is going to help all countries in the same way this is a very customized solution um and you know fiscal doesn't necessarily mean that it is strict austerity for a prolonged period of time or a short period of time or whether it is front loaded or it is slow or it is fast it is a customized solution that has to be based on what are the needs of the country what are the circumstances of the country and what therefore what policies would help that country by understanding the circumstances in which it is at that time